Nevada! Woo! Vegas, baby! Hard to see on the camera, but that right there is Vegas. We're coming through the mountains, and all of a sudden you just see, like, in the middle of nowhere, huge buildings and the stratosphere. That really gives it away, so. Holy crap. It's wild to think of how far we've been driving through mountains. And there's, like, nothing. Perspective. This is pretty cool. That's the Vegas skyline, and we are currently going into Las Vegas, the Strip. I think Vegas is actually one of the more RV friendly cities. Yeah, it is funny. I called like a bunch of different places to be like, it would be okay for us to park, and every one of them was like, seemed like they already had a plan for this. This RV is Vegas. I don't know what it is about you, but uh. You look so fine, riding shotgun in my car. Top down when driving on the highway. The wind in our hair. We are about to get hung off the building and go up that. Can't even look at it. It's so cool. We just went on the tallest rail ride. That is the view, and that is what we were on. Oh wow. We got our milkshakes. Talk about a lot of yumminess. And I don't know if you can see how big. That's my hand for size. We got candy necklace, cotton candy, Skittles, some chocolate, and like a million scoops of ice cream and whipped cream. scoops of ice cream, whole donuts, lollipops, waffle cones, and a million other things in here. And that thing right there is a hundred dollars worth of ice cream. We're not quite sure what to do with this. And we're trying to finish these things, which even, in themselves... I can't even take any sips of ice cream. I just ate the chocolate on the outside and I'm good. This was our view last night, the Las Vegas Strip. We were right on the strip, parked in the <coughs> parking lot after a great dinner and show. It was a cool way to have our RV in Las Vegas. Go into the Grand Canyon. Yeah. spray painted it. Cause look, up there it's not. This is the Valley of Fire. That always thinks things look like land before time. Because they always do. I think they do. And this is something that people say is a fun little roadside attraction. So here we are, Seven Magic Mountains. There is nothing around here at all. And then there's just these seven rocks. Don't know how they set them up or anything like that. And you can see them because they're neon. It's a lot of paint, but how do they keep it balanced? We're on the loneliest road. This is the start of the stretch throughout Nevada and continues on. Yeah, they said there's stretches that it goes like, I forget how long, but a long, long time without anything. There 
she is. The capital of Nevada, Carson City. This is Reno, Nevada. We are in the top part of Nevada and it's pretty cool seeing another town. They call this the largest small city in the world and it does look like a mini Vegas, that's for sure. One thing we've really enjoyed on this trip is getting to see different cities. Even if it's like a out of the way city or a not as known city, Reno isn't somewhere that like I probably wouldn't have like picked as an ideal place I must visit. But now that we're here, like it's really cool to get to see it. And just to be able to picture when people say Reno, I wonder, Reno's like pretty far out there though. So I wonder who like, comes to, I mean, because they got a lot of casino type big sky rises, looks like the main. So, who comes um, here? Yeah, I wonder if it's a lot of people from like Lake Tahoe because it's like, I don't know, maybe like an hour from here. Lake Tahoe is right there, and also right there is Secret Cove, which is a new beach. <laughs> and we're it's not, a little cold out today, though. We're not thinking we're going to see any nudies, but... But it's, it's one of the prettiest uh, little coves on Lake Tahoe. Really cool how you got the cove there. You got mountains over there. You can get nice skiing, lots of boating, and some pretty cool beaches all in one area. To go into California and see Lake Tahoe on that side. There's my head driving. Beautiful view of the lake and he's been navigating these amazingly twisty and tall and everything else roads and dirty windshields like a champ. This road looks like uh, from the car commercial. It's like yeah. straight with a little bit of water. <laughs> Can't see it in the camera, but that is the lake and it just looks like the ocean, honestly. It just like keeps going forever and ever. So it's like Angel's Landing for the RV. There's water on that side and can't see it now but there was water on that side and very high up here right along Lake Tahoe. This is Inspiration Point at Lake Tahoe and I have one word for it. Inspiring. <laughs> And that is what it's like to just spend $200 on diesel. We are driving down the strip in our RV. I just want to see you keep the street. <laughs> oh, my rock star stripping husband. Don't need no mega show. I'm running out of time. Every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby. I don't want to miss a thing.